Robin Carlin, live from Radio Row at Super Bowl 50. Well, things are quiet now, but within a few hours, this will be the hub for all things Super Bowl. Pinch yourself, Broncos fans. The world's biggest sporting event is nearly upon us, and Denver is a guest of honor. On Sunday afternoon, the Broncos departed from Dove Valley at 1230 and were sent off by hordes of fans before heading to Denver International Airport. When they arrived, they boarded a customized United 767. The special plane came complete with orange lettering and a Broncos logo. At 1.45, the team headed west for Santa Clara. That's where the Broncos will call home for the next seven days. And get this, all Broncos players, including those on the IR, traveled with the team on Sunday. If you recall two years ago under John Fox, injured players didn't join the team until Thursday before the big game. That included Von Miller and Chris Harris, who weren't too happy about being left behind. The serious football begins on Tuesday, but before that happens, both teams must participate in this evening's obligatory media day sessions. As the home team in Super Bowl 50, the Broncos will kick things off first. They'll meet the press at 515 Pacific time, and then it's the Panthers' turn due up at 655. Denver will feature 11 members of the team on offense. Peyton Manning, Damaris Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders, and Owen Daniels will have a spot on the podium, while the defense will be represented by Chris Harris, Akib Tlaib, TJ Ward, Von Miller, and Brandon Marshall. And of course, head coach Gary Kubiak will field questions as well. On Tuesday, both teams get back to the business of football. Denver will spend its week practicing at Stanford University in Palo Alto, the same field John Elway played on in college. And Carolina will be down the road at San Jose State. And right here behind me is where we'll be posted up all week. Make sure to catch Mark Kisla and Woody Page from the Denver Post Sports Show live from Radio Row each day at 2 o'clock Pacific time. I'm Robin Carlin keeping you up to date from Super Bowl 50.